This right here is a booster box filled with 36 packs of the brand new Pokemon Scarlet and Violet expansion, Twilight Masquerade. But let's talk about the chase cards in this set because I am super, super hyped for both the Perrin Special Illustration Rare and the Blood Moon Ursaluna Special Illustration Rare, as well as the Lana's Assistance SIR, which is a throwback to the Sun and Moon era. Gorgeous Special Illustration Rare Carmine. We also get to see Poltergeist and Sinistra, the new Macha Pokemon. And honestly, one of the most stunning SIRs that I have seen in a while is the Greninja E. X special illustration rare. So far, I've only opened an ETB of Twilight Masquerade and the pulls were not great. I'm really hoping this is not going to be another Temporal Forces dry spell situation. I mean, we have pulled Moonbrions on this channel. We have pulled Gengar VMAX alternate art. We have had some of the most insane luck on this channel. And for whatever reason, ever since Temporal Forces dropped, it has just been an absolute dry spell. But as you guys know, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. And today we're taking 36 more shots at Twilight Masquerade. But if we're gonna pull anything good today, I'm going to need your help so go ahead and smash that luck button it looks just like this subscribe to the channel by the end of the video if you want some more content like this oh and if you're new here my name is pokey fang and welcome to the fang gang boom there we have it guys our booster box of temple our booster box of twilight masquerade is what i meant to say Man, I swear these boxes come out so fast now, with these new sets rather, and it just becomes like absolutely impossible to keep track of everything. And now I'm saying Temporal Forces instead of Twilight Masquerade. This is a disaster. So I'm also trying to keep track of all these Japanese sets coming out with the new series unpacked here on the channel. If you guys haven't seen that, definitely go back and check out some of those videos. But here we go, 36 packs. Hopefully we pull some special illustration rares out of this box. One would be nice, two would be probably, I don't even know if that's possible. Um, that would be absolutely insane, but it would really make up for all the boxes that we opened of Temporal Forces that had absolutely nothing. So let's go ahead and just get started with these packs. We're gonna go straight through. I'm just gonna set these like up here. I don't know. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just take out all of the packs and just set them right up there. I'm gonna get, get into them just like this. Let's go with that. I think that's a good, that's a good vibe. We're gonna get started right away in these packs. Uh, I'm gonna have to grab some sleeves in a second here, but code cards are of course going out to the fan gang all throughout the video. That's how we do it here. The code, please. Hopefully you guys enjoy those codes and get something good. Uh, with those on PTCG Live, we're gonna go with uh, dark type energy. Ooh, so close. Metal energy from the front there. Oh, so we're not gonna do the Pokey Fang pack trip. We're gonna go straight from the front on these. Uh, Palisand, because these are all new uh, cards. We have not seen these here yet on the channel. And uh, obviously I'm going to uh, recognize quite a few of these because we did open them up in uh, the Japanese sets. Brute Bonnet, Enhanced Hammer. I don't think we saw that one yet. We got Ogre's Mask. It's Rocky, Coke, Tom Tom. The Three Ninjas. Do you guys remember that movie from like the 90s? I'm pretty sure these are the exact same masks that were in that Three Ninjas movie. It's really bizarre. And once I noticed it, it was just, I couldn't unsee it. Glalie, reverse, and the Pheasantipity Hollow. Uh, I do love that the reverses are so abundant in these new sets because it really makes putting master sets together. I put my binder together for uh, Temporal Forces the other day and it was pretty easy because I had pretty much every reverse for all of them just from opening a few boxes. Code card going out to the fan gang. Dark type energy again. The Fuego energy. All right, I think we can do the pack trick now. I think we've mostly seen all of the cards through the ETB and we got our boy Poltergeist right there. Not to be confused with our mascot here, Boba Geist. I didn't get any boba today. Got to take it easy. Can't be drinking boba all the time or I'm going to probably die from it. Poltergeist, Poliwhirl. Bruh. All right. Is this how it's going to be? I hope this is not how it's going to be. I love that Abra actually. But all right. First two packs had Pheasantipity Hollows. Interesting. I didn't shuffle these. So that is, that's, you know, right, right next to each other in the, in the box. All right, code card going up to the fan gang. It's gotta be psychic now. Touch grass energy, come back to reality. It's not gonna happen for us today with the energies. All right, Thwacky, reverse. Daramuka, are the, all right. Are the illustration rares going to be as hard to pull in this set as they have been in the last few sets? Cause it's been absolutely insane trying to pull those. Yeah, it's been insane. There's so many great illustration rares and just been way too hard to pull all of them, pull any of them rather. Uh, let's go with water type energy. Drip, yes, we got it. 
had to do it. All right, one, two, three to the front. Hustle. That hustle is over hot right now. Conkleder, still no art rare. And the Alakazam Hollow. At least it's not another Pheasantipity. Um, I am really, really looking forward to Shrouded Fable. I think it's going to be a really simple, small set from everything that I've seen so far. If you guys have been following along with the episodes of Pokefang Unpacked, uh, it looks like it's going to be based entirely on Night Wanderer. Here we go. Or let's say Dark Energy now, finally. Oh, Punchies Energy. One, two, three to the front. All right. We got the Love Ball Reverse. Come on. Let's get a special, special illustration rare. Monferno. And a Sinistra. I love Matcha. It's not the time. It's not the time right now. Get out of here, Sinistra. Come on. We only have so many packs. What is that? Five packs already? One, two, three, four. Four or five packs or something like that that we've opened. Code card going out to the fan gang. Dark type energy. Metal again. Pew. Two, three to the front. Dreepy reverse. Ugh, nose pass and a chandelure guys if we if this is temporal forces all over again i'm i'm like i'm done like i don't even know what i'm gonna do at this point <sighs> why do you hate me pokemon company why can't you send me some of those some of those spicy boxes that you send the big pokey tubers huh where they always always have the chase card in it you know, like I'm sure you guys, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. It always seems like they send the, the best boxes to the PokeTubers that they send boxes to. All right, conspiracy theory, tinfoil hat, dark type energy's got to show up, finally. Yes. Boom. We're on a roll today. Well, not technically on a roll, but we're not doing too bad. One, two, three to the front. Applin reverse. Corefish, still no illustration rares. And our first hit is the Teal Mask Ogre Pond EX. How appropriate. All right, I don't have my sleeves out. Time to break open some fresh sleeves. Um, if you guys need to re-up on your sleeves, make sure to check the description to uh, get the discount on the vault soft card sleeves. This is what I use, honestly, what I've been using for years. I'm not, in a, I'm not like partnered with them. I've never even had a conversation. Uh, but they make great stuff, and this is the uh, semi rigids that I use. These are the, they call them wide sometimes on Amazon. I'm not sure. They're just like the first ones that they had. The other ones are, in my opinion, a little bit too narrow and more likely to damage the cards if you are uh, taking them in and out. Do the old flip routine. I'm just going to set it down right there. That's how we're going to do it today since these packs are up here. All right, code card going out. Well, it's going to have to be Psychic. Electric Zap Energy. We always get the Zap deck. You guys remember the Zap deck from like, was it base? I think base set had the, the theme deck Zap. Belly Bolt, Melodic, and an Enamorous Hollow. Enamorous always reminds me of that dude from Powerpuff Girls. You know who I'm talking about? The only safe way to refer to this King of Darkness is simply him. That creepy dude. Um, I, I just messed it up and took the second card, so I already know that it's Punchy's energy. All right, one, two, three to the front. Let's see what we have here. A palm. Let's, can we please just get our, our first spe our first illustration rare? That would be nice. Let's see. No, just like that, no. Oh One pull from like eight packs right now. Wow, these are pretty brutal pull rates so far. I mean, unless the rest of this thing is stacked, it's gonna have to be psychic. Grass energy again, that is insane. We're not gonna get a psychic this time in this box. Phantom, Litwick, still no illustration rare. And a Blissey EX, regular double rare hit, their big old egg. Is Blissey supposed to be like attacking us with the egg? Let's see. Come on, man. We have to see something spicy soon. 
psychic type energy because I almost changed my mind and was going to do something else, which means it's going to be psychic now. No. Drip energy. Okay. Drip energy. Bug catching set, aka uh, aquarium cleaning kit and hamster cage. Froakie reverse. Teal mask ogre pond, but not the terraform double rare that we got already. Okay, this is interesting. This is getting very interesting. Code card going out to the fan gang. Enjoy that. Uh, and let me know if you pull anything good on the uh, TCG Live. Let's see here, guys. It's going to have to be psychic now. It has to be. How to do it. One, two, three, to the front. Come on. Illustration rare. Let's do it. Let's do it. Illustration rare. Come on. Do they, are there even any illustration wares in this set? Am I just like totally delusional? Is there no illustration wares in this set? I could swear there was a whole bunch of them. And uh, just where though? Where are they at? Where are they at? Where are they at? Code card going out to the fan gang. Um, wow, interesting. It's been a minute since we had metal energy. Fire, it's been I should have went in fire. Forgot about fire. Laren, reverse. We got one. We got one! And it's the Chansey. Let's go. Yeah, buddy. I like that one. It looks like a screenshot directly from the anime, which is pretty epic. And a Chandelure. So nice. I love it. It's got the Psyduck. It's got the Ditto. It's got the Bell Sprout. Snorlax and the Blissey back there at the desk. Great card, love to see it. It's first illustration rare out of, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 packs. 13 packs, wait, hold on, let's get full face cam for this. 13 packs, three hits. Ooh. It's a tough one, man. I don't know what they're trying to do to us. We got spoiled in the beginning. We definitely got spoiled in the beginning of Sword and Shield. All right, wrong, wrong camera. There we go. Oh boy, what a mess. Code card going out to the fan gang. Dark type energy. Bro, what what is with today is just crushing. I'm not even gonna do the animation after the, after a few of them here because that's just gonna be way too many. One, two, three to the front. Um, yeah, yeah, crazy. Spinner rack reverse, Ting Lu, and the Alakazam. You see how confident I was that we were not gonna get a hit in that pack just because we just got a hit, which means we probably have another 13 cards or packs to open before we get another hit. Code card going out to the fan gang. And it's gonna be grass. Lightning, should've known. Lights off, lights on. Dark type. And then electric. Iron leaves, that's a nice one. I do love the way that the reverses look on the future and ancient types, especially that green and black. That looks so good. Followed by the Sea King and him. And I really wish I could name, think of the name of that character from Powerpuff Girls. Him. It's like dead on what it reminds me of. Code card out. Grass type. I'm starting to think I actually am psychic because I'm getting pretty good at this. One, two, three to the front. Getting pretty good. Kilowattril. Rev of Room. And a Heatran. Whoa, that Heatran looks like it's having like the worst case of acid reflux. Heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. Yay! Honestly, this Heatran might have to go to a gastroenterologist. Next pack. Let's get it. Let's get it. Code card out. Metal. Oh. Bro, this isn't even, I'm not even joking right now. There is no such thing as someone who is psychic. I'm gonna have to come up with a different animation than the thug life because if we're gonna be hitting them this often, then 
I'm gonna need something that's quicker than that. Floette, Teal Mask, Ogre Pond. I'm actually guessing the energies correctly more often than we're actually getting pulls. That's pretty wild. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go fighting. All right, this isn't even, I wish I, I honestly, I wish I was faking it because I'd be less freaked out. I am starting to get freaked out. It's a little bit weird. That's too many. It's too many. I only want to get some of them right. <laughs> Anything more than that, it's kind of spooky. Glimit. Monkey Dory. All right. Come on, man. Let's get, let's get, let's get through these. I'm going to start speed, speed running these. All right. Dark type. Oh, there's our psychic. There was our psychic. I should have called it. Should have called it. All right. Watchroll. Torkoal. And the Blood Moon Ursaluna EX. It gives um, like the Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey horror movie vibes going on right here. It also kind of looks like something from like Five Nights at Freddy's, even though it's not animatronic. But Blood Moon Ursaluna is pretty interesting if you think about it, because theoretically, I think there's only one of them in existence. And I don't know how that works in the game, if everybody has one and there's only one in existence, but uh, it, it is what it is. <sighs> Grass. Oh, fire, I should have called that one. That was obvious. Obviously. Obviously. Diplin. Oh man, I was really hoping we were gonna get another illustration here. Got something. Ooh, Greninja EX, not bad. The Terraform Greninja EX, double rare. For a hot second, I saw Greninja. I knew that that wasn't the coloring that it needed to be, but I saw Greninja anyway and that edge. And I thought maybe, just maybe that was gonna be the SIR Greninja. I really want that card. That card is so nice. Oh man. All right, code card going out to the Gang. I'm gonna go electric again for some reason. I feel like we don't get that one often enough. I'm psychic, it's official. I have manifested my own psychic abilities. There we go, unfair stamp. We got our first ace spec card out of this box. Very nice. Ooh, double banger. Can we get a triple banger? Wait, can we get a triple banger in this set? Can we get a, let's see. Not in this pack, but can we do it in the set, I wonder? Unfair stamp, and then there's that Heliolisk action shot looking like the dude from Jurassic Park. And we have an RK9 hollow. Let's go ahead and sleeve up our double bangers. All right, so now we're starting to stack them up. Now we're starting to get some hits. It's probably because psychic abilities have like tapped into a wormhole in space time or something along those lines. A rift has opened, and now all of these all of these Pokemon and items and things are gonna come flying at us. What? All right, code card going out to the fan gang. Of course, obviously, fighting type. No grass type. Oh, metal, ooh, ooh. Good one, that was a good one. Got me on that one. Tadbulb, walking wake. I don't know why I just got excited seeing Walking Wake. I wanted to pull that Walking Wake from Temporal Forces so bad, and they just couldn't get anything from that set. For some reason, I saw Walking Wake, and I was like, it's not even in the set. Ooh, we got the Hassle Full Art. Hassle Full Art. You can choose this card only if you're a Pokemon, or, if, oh. Wait, what? You can choose this card only if any of your Pokemon were knocked out during your opponent's last turn. Uh, look at the top eight cards of your deck and put up to three of them in your hand. See, this is why I struggle to play the TCG. My ADHD is so bad, I like lost track of what I was saying as I was reading it three separate times. That's what we're dealing with. And if I could, if I could get myself together and make videos and do all this stuff, you can too, because we're all just uh, problematic individuals <laughs> doing our best. All right, um, <laughs> let's go with, oh man, water, oh, darkness, all right. 
let's see. Maybe the vibes are off. Maybe the vibes, the frequencies are off a little bit right now. We're, we're gonna get them back. We're gonna get them back. Farfetched Reverse, Florges, and Heartburn Heatran. All right. We're about halfway through this box. Decent number of hits. Decent number of hits. Decent hits, though, is the question, you know? That's, that's qu quality over quantity is what we want. We want that special illustration. I want that Carmine. I want that Greninja, you know? Like those are the ones. All right, Psychic again. We haven't got enough of them. Punchy's energy. One, two, three. All right. Ooh, doubling up on the Ace Specs. It's crazy that the Ace Specs could be in that first slot there. With the Hyper Aroma, very nice. Do we get a double banger? We did not. Not least with the Aeron or the Monkey Dory. So no double banger in that one. So leaving that up with the vault -X. And uh, vault -X, people, if you're watching this, uh, I want to promote products that I personally already use and like. The ones that I tested out that I like the most are the ones that I want to promote on this channel. I just so happens I like your products. I like your binders, I like your semi-rigids, I like your sleeves. That is what I buy, that's what I use. If you want to send me those binders early like you do with some of your uh, ambassadors, hit me up because I would absolutely love to um, feature more of your products on this channel. Right now, we don't have any sort of contact or anything like that, but I'm open to it. Uh, let's see, we've got, I'm gonna go Psychic again. I'm feeling, I'm feeling like I need another Psychic. <sighs> Grass type. We haven't been getting a lot of Psychic, so I'm sticking with it with it for the next few packs. Enhanced Hammer, Fioni, and an Infernape Holographic. Ooh, all right. I don't want to bring up a sore subject, but do you guys remember non-hollow rares? Tough times. Those were tough times. All right, now we get two reverses and a guaranteed hollow. Spoiled, absolutely spoiled. Still complaining about the pull rates. It's just what we do. All right, Psychic, the drip energy. All right, moist, it's moist, moisture. I know some people hate that word. Pincer, Slurpuff, and a Frostless. For some reason I thought I saw something, but maybe I didn't, maybe not. Code card, dark type, oh, fire. Okay, one, two, three. We were doing so much better before. I gotta get it back. Gotta get the groove back. All right, smash the luck button if you haven't already. Jamming tower. <sighs> yes, I was hoping we were gonna pull this card. We got the pulch, you guys. Oh man, I love it. I love the matcha, big matcha fan. I get matcha uh, bubble tea all the time. That's my my mascot, Boba Geist. Uh, really, really was hoping that I'd be able to pull this card right here. Now we need the Sinistra special illustration where to go with it but no we got the infernape so cool and if you actually look at the things that are happening in this scene i won't spoil it but if you look at this scene right here and then you look at what's happening with the sinistra sinistra uh, if you look at what's happening with the sinistra uh, there's a story being told between these two cards love when they do that they've been very thoughtful about the artworks lately but uh not as thoughtful with the pull rates all right, here we go. I just hit my window. Psychic. Dark type, oof. We've been getting a lot of dark types today. A lot of them. Shinx reverse. Can we get another illustration rare? Back to back. No, we got an adorable little sand true. Kind of chilling in a little rock pile there. It's pretty cute. Pretty cute. And a hollow frostless. Illustration rare in this set is really cool. Super spooky, creeping down the hallway at night. Really nice art style too. Love that photography style that they've been doing lately. All right, here we go. I know I've said that a hundred times. Let's go, Psychic finally. Drip energy again, wow. This is a this is a wet box. This box is sopping wet. Just, just dripping, dripping left and right. Swana. Reverse Palafin. Okay, okay, okay. And then Iron Leaves Hollow. 
couple more packs, guys. I think this is seven more packs already. Wow, this has gone way too fast. All right, here we go. Code card going out. Psychic finally. Oh man, we got the Zap deck again. Again, don't be another ace spec, please. All right, I don't want that many ace specs. I want special illustration rares. We've got so many ace specs from Temporal Forces. Sunfloor Reverse, Slugma, and at least, hey, I was hoping we would get all four of the masks for the Ogre Pond. And uh, I'm glad we were able to get the Wellspring Mask Ogre Pond EX. Uh, a lot of people have said that the regular Ultra Rare or the special, or um, excuse me, the full arts of the Ogre Pond EXs are preferable. That people seem to like them more than the special illustration rares. I, I mean, looking at them on the computer maybe, but I think once they're in your hand, the SIRs are going to just hit different. There's something about the way that the SIRs pop in person that's really hard to really see on the computer. But maybe, maybe once we pull it, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, maybe once we pull it, uh, we'll be able to see. All right, Psychic finally. Punchy synergy. <laughs> wow. Okay, okay. Let's see how it is. Oh, I really want that Carmine's SIR. Glamora, Zapdos. Yeah, I feel like we um, should have had more Zapdos and we've just been pulling like 10 of everything else. Okay, code card going out. Psychic, we're, so we're all sticking, I'm committed, committed. Hooray! And it paid off, and it paid off. Commitment, loyalty, determination, um, um, discipline words that mean things that's what it's all about all right handheld fan it's summertime ready for these swirlix looks like cotton candy I, I honestly i think it's with a bunch of cotton candy interesting hopefully nobody eats it by accident four packs left one two three four whoa one of each artwork too interesting all right well Spooky stuff is happening, guys. It's because I mentioned the Halloween special that's coming up this October. I hope you guys are freaking stoked because I am. It's going to be epic. Pokey Fang Halloween special. We're making it a thing every year from now on. This is going to be the first year and it's going to be awesome. All right. There's no way it's going to be psychic again, so I'm going to go with uh, fire type. Guess who's back? Back again. All right. Tang growth, reverse, frostless, and the Iron Thorns EX Mecha Godzilla Iron Thorns EX. Don't act like you guys weren't biting off of Mecha Godzilla with the Iron Thorns. Come on, come on. I mean, it's it's right there. Everybody knows Titar is Gzilla. It's the way it works. Um, don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Code card going on. That's the fan gang. A couple more of those left. If you guys are uh, redeeming the codes here, we have got the one, the only grass type energy. No, metal. Yes. I'm so good. I was, I was like, no. How often you, you never see me do that? You never see me go just, nope. I know what it is. It's metal. Heliolisk. Sand Slash, and we got our full art. Pokemon of the, 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 the box, Screamtail EX, Hot Topic, Jigglypuff. Listen, I was a hardcore kid. I had my ears with the, with the, with the, with the gauge plugs. I don't have any tattoos though. Can you believe that? I don't have any tattoos. I just never, um, I mean, you know, someone says a couple hundred dollars for a tattoo and I'm just like, that's several booster boxes. So that's just not gonna happen. It's priorities, you know? All right, code card going out to the fan gang. I lost focus. I lost my focus. Um, my, my, my wavelengths are off. Okay, let's go grass. Nope, see, told you it was off. Told you it was off, I can feel it. I can sense it. Luxio, reverse. Agron, I'm here, man, come on. 
We have one more pack left at this, after this. It better have an illustration mirror in it. We got something. Teal Mask, Ogre Pond, EX. So this is the one that everybody thinks is better than the SIR. And it is really nice. I'll give you that. Yeah, I can see it. And honestly, like I kind of dig that the background is kind of white. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 hits from this box. But man, was that first half dry. And we're down to our last pack. Last pack. And uh, since we're on our last pack, I'm gonna let you guys know what is coming up. There should be either before or after this episode, there should be another update of Pokefang Huck Unpacked. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy that episode. It's about Shrouded Fable and all of the new uh, leaks and rumors and things that are going on with that set. Super stoked about that new uh, series. Um, we also are going to be weighing Twilight Masquerade packs uh, in an upcoming video. So look forward to that as well. See if that pack, see if it can be weighed. See if you get scammed like I did with Ground Zenith on TCG Player. <sighs> anyway, all right, here we go. Code card going out to the Fangang. I want to say, I want to say it's grass. Oh, dark type. Dark type was on the tip of my tongue and I didn't say it. All right. Trevenant reverse. Here we go, guys. Make sure to smash the luck button if you haven't already. Make sure it's activated. It should be lit up. Trevenant. Oh, jinx. You already know. Cool trainer, Ryan. I won't say it on my channel. Nothing! 15 pulls from that box. My favorite two are going to be the Poltergeist and the Chansey Special Illustration Rares. Thank you guys so much for sticking around, opening up packs with me. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Catch you in the next one. And as always, happy haunting, fan gang. Peace.